It's like, oh, this is metal. Oh, cool. This is kind of exactly what I wanted. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and I start getting excited and my mom's like, calm down, you know? <laughs> Hi, Ryan. Hi, buddy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so first of all, I'm glad we're together. This is fun. Thank you. Um, but I have some questions. All right. Uh, we are chilling here mm -hmm. on your deck yep. of your home built trailer. Yeah. This is fantastic. I, I love this so much. Okay, so I ha my questions are, why did you choose a trailer as like the format? First of all, thank you for wearing the shirt. I really wanted to have something where it was multifaceted. A couple different factors were, I wanted something that I hook up and go, and also still be able to drive to work and it wouldn't be it would still work with my vehicle i have a dodge journey so it's a little bit underpowered, but it still works one of the biggest things too is i'm an explorer i like to like go places and so i knew that if i had built an all-in-one when i would park it i would want it to like stay there and then i wouldn't be encouraged to like go and find other places the coolest part about the trailer was that i could put it somewhere have yeah. a base camp and then go and drive around and, and, and be in another environment. And explore. Exactly. That makes and I, sense. And I feel like if I were to go with a, one, a single unit, uh, I would be a little bit restricted. And so this allowed me to have one vehicle that I could tow with, also used to go to you know work and back, and then also when I was on adventures, mm. be able to go anywhere. That's smart. I like how we're sitting here and you've backed in and we're literally, at, we're in a regular campground, Yeah. but we get to face the woods as if we're not. I think that's it's awesome. And you might not be able to pull that off if you were driving an RV and you had to hook up and all that stuff. So being self-contained the way you are is pretty fantastic. I do want to add about that is that when I had designed it, I knew that I wanted to get the most footprint out of it. And so that I, I kind of designed the deck idea. But I didn't realize is how cool it would be to have that background, you know, be able oh, to so look it was out. A surprise. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, the fantastic. first time that I did it, I, I was I just literally like parked somewhere and I had backed it in. And it was mm. just it just so happened that I dropped the thing down to like test it out. And I'm like, oh, this is kind of cool. I get to like look out into the world. Yeah. Uh, and then and then uh, the second trip and the third time I parked, I actually started to park it in places where I can get a really good view. <laughs> and so it kind of just grew into a thing where I was like, oh, cool, I'll, I'll put it down and, and then get an opportunity to like, you know, sit out on the deck and, and you know, have a breakfast or lunch or whatever yeah. and, and enjoy, you know, nature and, and not be because like, I think the biggest thing about trailers sometimes they get really confined you know you're mm -hmm. you're you know, there's a few windows and you people tend to you know be more natural inside so they're not right. going to go outside as much and me i was like nope i don't want that i want something that's open mm -hmm. and the deck allows not only more square footage but also a opportunity to be actually out in the world mm -hmm. um and eventually i would like to get some sort of screen net type thing sure. but that's you know well, i think it'd be easy enough to do exactly and the other thing too is that i i really haven't had any huge issues with bugs so yeah. i usually have bugs free on so it's not a huge deal makes sense Okay, ready follow-up question. Yeah. So you, you built this thing yourself mm -hmm. from a trailer. Did you start with like a budget and a timeline or did it just kind of happen? No, I, uh, I did a lot of planning. Um, so uh, I did have a budget and a timeline. My timeline was six months okay. and, I, and I was very, very close to that. My first trip, it wasn't finished, but it was, it was usable. And so that was six months. Okay. Um, and yeah, the budget, um, I had saved up some money for it. And um, I actually was very fortunate. My mom actually bought the trailer itself. Oh. Uh, yeah, we were. Thanks, mom. Yeah, I can tell you that story. So uh, I was, I would told her about my ideas and what I wanted to do. And I had done tons of research about it. And I was pretty much ready to, I had the money to buy the trailer and everything. Mm. Uh, and uh, we had, uh, she had a day off. I had a day off and I was like, all right, let's, you know, let's go. Hey, Hey, can you help me? Let's go places, you know? Cause you don't really do one alone, you know, everything else you don't want at least somebody else there. Right. Um, and so we checked out, uh, two trailers and then this is the third one. Okay. And, uh, and we had, I was literally scrolling through and I saw it and I was like, ah, oh, it actually was all black. So I thought it was wood. And I was like, ah, it's, it's probably wood, but it's a really, it was a really good price. And so can you, can the guy meet us? And so I'm going through and, you know, messaging him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's their address. All right, let's go. And so we go there and, uh, and I'm looking at him like, oh, this is metal. Oh, cool. This is kind of exactly what I wanted. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and I start getting excited and my mom's like, calm down. You know, we want the price not to be too high. How are you um, going to haggle like yeah, that? <laughs> exactly. I would really think you should knock the price down. 100% <laughs> that's how it happened. But it, it, it was good enough price where it didn't really, I didn't really have to haggle too much. We were just like, hey, like we want this. Like yeah. we, we looked through everything. 
this is what I can do this. Let's do it. And so my mom was like, all right, you'll get the money out of the account right now and we can go do it. Cause I didn't, I didn't have it right on, on me at that second. The guy actually was very, very nice. Uh, and I got to message him at some point in time to let him know what's going on, but he actually uh, delivered it. <laughs> yeah. Cause at the time I didn't have, I had the hitch on the trailer, but I didn't have the, uh, the light kit yet. So I okay. couldn't, I couldn't hook up the lights. Um, so it's like, Hey man, I really want this. Uh, and he actually was buying a new trailer. So the reason why he was selling is because, and he had posted it literally hours prior to that. Um, and he was like, yeah, I'm going to buy another trailer and I need the cash. So I just want to get, you know, real cheap. He's like, all right, cool. So, uh, so we gave him like 50 bucks to, for, for gas okay. and he fills up his tank. He was in uh, New Haven okay. and he, and he was like, yeah, I'll, you give me the address. I'll meet you there. And it was a couple hours later, uh, he showed up, I gave him the cash, he dropped it off and, and then away we went from there. An okay budget for, I kind of like looked at other bills and what they were costing and stuff like that. The budget started to go a little quicker than I expected right. <laughs> as yep. it usually does. Uh -huh. Um, so I started, so there's some areas where I kind of went a little overboard and some areas where I kind of let up and tried to figure stuff out. So there's a lot of balance with the budget. It was a lot of what can I do to okay. not have to pay somebody else to do it and or to not cost more money. Yeah. And then it became, oh, I can get that. Okay, cool. And so um, it, it, part of it was even my emotions. Like I was just like, I don't really feel like doing that today. All right, let me just buy that part or let whatever. Buy that part, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and then the timeline, it was over the winter time. So yep. um, it was literally like I had already, uh, the, well, I had the idea of having a trip uh, right in the beginning of the season and I didn't book it yet. Mm -hmm. And then I got close enough where I really only needed a few things done and I booked it and I was like, Nope, th I have to go now or this time. So I was like, so that's where I, that helped with the uh, time motivation. Yeah. yeah. It was right. like, I need this, this is already booked. I paid for this trip. So I need to go on it and I need this, this thing to do it. So, uh, so that is definitely something I would say if anywhere else we're building that do that. Right. And I would probably, and the only thing I would say is I would, I would want to do it even earlier. So meaning like, you know, it booked it five months out and said, all right, in five months, I need it done mm -hmm. and then tracked it that way. Um, but it was, a lot of it was just every day going out and looking at it and figuring stuff out. Um, and it was just a lot of, a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of learning, you know, there was very few things on this that I knew about. Uh, I would say the trailer wiring I've done in the past, so that wasn't a huge deal. Okay. Other than that, it was pretty much uh, um, a lot of Instagram, a lot of videos, just kind of like going through stuff and and identifying what are the things that I liked about that build, right? Pulling it out and then going to the you next just one, steal it, right? Yeah, oh yeah, like this. The whole design of the of the bed system was one hundred percent I stole. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Steal, steal what works for you. Yeah, yeah. I did the same thing with a shed. Yeah, it worked out great. So yeah. actually, that brings me to another question, which was, what was your experience when you started? Well, what was your experience level when you started? Um, you mentioned you've done you did wiring. Yeah. Um, it, did you have a lot of other experience with building things in general or trailers or things like that? Um, so I, I had, um, some basic knowledge of wiring. I, I worked for my uncle. He has a golf cart company and we had to do a lot of lighting stuff. Mm -hmm. So 12 volt wasn't foreign to me. Okay. So that's pretty much all I went in with. Um, the good thing is I didn't need to do any welding. Um, so I, I, de I definitely didn't have that skill. And I knew about that. And this is an older trailer. So it has all wood stuff. Mm -hmm. It's all wooden and, and just basically, you know, uh, uh, aluminum paneling. The so. studding is wood? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that was really nice. So I was able to, and I have some wor uh, work with that, but for the most part, it was just a lot of watching the video and learning. I would say that if you were to ask me right now to do the, let's say the, the water system, mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't really name exactly what it would do it because when I was doing it, I was watching the videos and I would go out and I would figure something out right. and I would go back and I would watch another video and I yeah. would go and figure it out. So they piecemeal it together. Oh, hundred yep. percent. Yeah. So, but so, it doesn't leak. Right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so it works. Um, what else, what else you want? <laughs> yeah. You know? And, uh, so I, I started out with very low skill level and a lot of it was just, um, uh, learning from the YouTube videos. And then another huge side of it that, if you, that a lot of people don't talk about is the, uh, trial and error. Sure. I mean, the amount of times of which I failed were epic. Right. I mean, the lighting system alone was like four times. Yeah. Because I just, I just, I, I started with an idea and it just didn't, it couldn't work. Right. <laughs> and I changed it again and again and again. And finally it did. I mean, including the heating system in this, yep. changed that three times. So um, it did, it was a little costly for those things. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but I feel like in the end, it definitely was worth it. But that's, I think, the definitely difference between like building your own and buying something. Mm -hmm. 
is that you're going to get something that's done. Like somebody already figured it out for you. They spent, they already did the trial and error, yeah. or maybe they are an engineer yeah. or a fabricator, <laughs> right. or, you know, like that kind of thing, which yeah. changes the whole scope of what you can do when you have those skill sets. Right. Yeah. Right. And so for me, it was just trying to put all those pieces together to make something work. Yeah. Um, and I, uh, I, I really enjoyed that part of it, I would say. Uh, the, the, the... And you're still doing it. Oh, 100%. Like, you you, you continually changing things. Oh, we'll yeah. We'll get to that question in a minute. All right. Go ahead, finish. Um, and I would just say that, like, the way of which I went through that those steps and, like, like tearing this thing down was really fun, I would say. Because, I mean, well, it, it was it was try, I was trying to be fun, but uh, yeah. ultimately the the paneling, the wood paneling that was in there, it was actually, like, like um, uh, stapled in. Okay. And with the extra stuff. So I literally had to, like, each each stud i had to actually go through and pull it off okay uh and i ended up just cutting out mo mo some parts of it um but like the actual like trying to figure stuff out it did take time but i was like i know that the end result is going to be much better yeah and and maybe we know that it can survive a little time in the air <laughs> we've seen it go off road yeah. and catch more than a little bit of air yeah uh yeah yeah, so and you I built have, it well. And I have the battle scars. Yeah, yeah. And the, the fact scars. that I was able to drive home from that of that event right. is is I think pretty impressive. I was very excited yeah. when you got home. <laughs> because, you know, I was like, all right, let's see. Yeah. I mean it was good. Yeah. Um so okay, so you 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 uh, built it, you've modified it. Mm -hmm. If there was one thing, major thing that you had to change, what would it be? That's a difficult question. The first part is that when I when I thought about the trailer, I was like, "All right, what do I want to do with it?" And and I wanted it to the, the ideology was I want to put it in a field and have it be self sufficient for the most part. And and that actually uh, wasn't quite right because as you know now, it, it's 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 shade right here, right? And so solar doesn't do great in the shade. Mm -hmm. And so open field though it would have been fine because sure. it would be open to the thing so that kind of like what i actually use it for now versus what i designed it for is a right. little bit different but not crazy different um i would say like the spending a little bit more time on actual versus design because i feel like a lot of my mistakes were i wanted it like i read a bunch of stuff looked at a bunch of stuff okay i'm gonna do that mm -hmm. and then i realized that this particular trailer it wouldn't work on okay or or the size it would be the size or how it was designed or how i had to like work through the air so i, I kind of wish i spent a little bit more time um planning working planning working mm -hmm. versus uh, the majority of my six months we're just planning okay. i mean going through uh, and, and researching and figuring stuff out and then i would literally like pin a or you know save a, a youtube video and then all right that i have that you know and then i would go back and i would you know, six months later, whatever it was, three weeks later, I would actually go and do that thing mm. because I was always, I was getting everything together and buying all the stuff and all that kind of stuff. So I would just say a little bit more of, of building, planning, building, planning versus planning, building, mm -hmm. um, because I felt like I probably could have avoided some of the mistakes before I bought a particular item, like the lighting okay. stuff. I had bought everything to do the lights, but that way, that system would have never worked. <laughs> so, Trial and error. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. the error is in your wallet. You know, what are you going to do? <laughs> For sure, for okay. sure. Um, so, all right, this one is uh, another question. Mm. You love your trailer. Mm. It's obvious. Yeah. You love it. Yeah. Um, what do you love about it most? Um, I have to say, even though the the design, you know, wasn't perfect to be initial, like the things that I bought weren't working, the things that I ended up with, mm. I think are the best. So I would say... The versatility of the inside of it is just great and i also think that i would say that the deck area like the whole ide ideology of the deck yeah. i feel like in the beginning i was like i saw it one time and i was like oh that'd be really cool and then i executed it and it was just like oh this is awesome mm -hmm. um i i didn't think that like the open space and and all that stuff would be so nice but now that I have it, I can't live without it. I don't understand why I would never do that. Right. Like having the barn doors instead of the drop down. When I and I, I actually found several units that had you know good, good pricing, but they had the barn doors. I'm like, nope, yeah. can't do it. And I'm so glad that I stuck to that. Right. Um, because um, the open giving extra space, having it open, um, really makes it more feel like camping than it does like a trailer experience. Right. Uh, and that to me is it's more important. I wanted something that was. Uh, the cross between tent camping and trailer camping. Mm, I um, think and you I, found it. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I, for sure. Because I feel like 
you, there's not a whole lot of amenities here, but there's enough where you don't feel stressed. Okay. And that was, and I feel like that was really important while I was going through everything. Uh, the deck allows that kind of stuff, but um, overall, I feel like I, I, I crossed that line fairly good. Nice. Yeah. Well, thank you for answering my question. Yeah, absolutely. I very much appreciate it.